Athletes wear protection to shield themselves from potential injuries by balls or other players. Spectators, however, usually only receive the protection built into venues. When a foul ball struck a spectator, the venue swung for the fences in court in Aikens versus Glens Falls City School District. Glens Falls High School's baseball team hosted a game. The field included a 24-foot tall and 50-foot wide backstop behind home plate that protected spectators on or near the bleachers from balls. The backstop didn't extend to third base, but a three-foot fence ran along the baseline. Robin Aikens watched the game from behind third base instead of an open spot behind the backstop. A foul ball hit Aikens in the eye. Aikens sued, claiming the district didn't protect her from the foul ball. At trial, Aikens' evidence included the low cost of extending the backstop, commonality of extended backstops at other venues, the district's knowledge that balls frequently left the field in that area, lack of warning signs, and the batter's later professional baseball career. The jury found for Aikens and valued Aikens' damages at $100,000 finding the district 65% responsible. Effectively, the jury awarded Aikens $65,000. The district appealed, and the court affirmed the judgment. Then, the district appealed again to New York's highest court.